G'day everyone, Josh Ian here. I'm here with DD Airbags. I'm just gonna run you through a simple trick that we do. And I think some of the BMX guys do this as well, but double grab, I feel you want feel you in on this one. Uh, double grab's an easy one for us. It's a fun one. We just get hang off the back of the bike, but basically on our regular ramp that we jump at 23 meters, we jump the ramp normally. And once I'm in the air, I can just reach back with my left hand because I'm right-handed, but grab with my left hand. It is funny, people that most people right-handed prefer to grab with their left hand for some reason. But one important thing for us is having control of the throttle, and it's just uh, I feel like you have more control if you take your right hand off and your front wheel's dipping you, you you can't adjust the bike in any way without holding onto the throttle so at least if you're holding the throttle you can rev it if you need to or leave it if you don't but, so I'm just comfortable reaching back with my left hand and once I grab this with the left hand I can push myself away from the bike and then I can let go of the right and reach back and grab the seat as well so then at this point just floating like this flying in the air but then whenever I want to, last minute, I can just pull back really fast. So you can, if you hold it for long enough, you can just rip back up, <laughs> jump back on the bike and, and land, no worries. Hopefully you get your feet on the pegs, but it's a nice simple one. It's a pretty cool one because you're, you're away from the bike, you feel far away, but to get back on, you can get back on really quick and get back to the pegs and land safely. A couple of things you really want to make sure you do is, I like to, I mean, you can have your feet a little further back on the pegs, but don't throw your feet off before you grab. So when you're learning, you want to lean, lean back. I like to just basically lean back, poke the bum back. So, so you can expose your grab area and you can grab it. And that's the most important thing is, once you've got to grab your seat, then it doesn't really matter. You can just let go of everything and you can push back in one, or you can, you can push yourself up while you're holding onto the handlebars. Then last minute, just let go and grab the seat. So the most important thing is making sure you grab that seat before you start anything. And then uh, when you're pulling back on, getting back to the bars is the most important thing. But sometimes if your feet are, if you're focused on grabbing the bars and your feet are still dangling, then you've got to make sure you kind of pull yourself up to the bars. You almost pull your bars in low so you can get your feet forward and then stomp them down on the pegs. It might hurt if you miss the pegs. Definitely, two things you need to focus on the most is, first off, just hitting the ramp normally. So whatever jump you're doing, you just hit it exactly the same as what you would normally do. And the second most important thing to do with the trick is just to make sure you grab that seat. Make sure you're in a steady position when you first grab the seat with whatever hand you grab with. The rest is sorted. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>